Hello and welcome to Crying Revolution at Wani LASIK. Here we specialize in reconstructing, repairing corneas from past LASIK, trauma, PRK, RK, illness and disease. This particular surgery is done in two steps. The first surgery procedure is taking out the irregularities, making the cornea a more uniform, smooth shape. This will help eliminate night vision glare halos, starburst, shadowing, and starburst. There is a four-month healing period, but don't be alarmed, don't be scared. You can still continue on your daily life and lifestyle. Once we reach that four-month mark, then we can proceed to stem two of the surgery. Step two consists of the refractive portion and measuring from near and far and empowering that vision to eliminate glasses. We hope you find this very helpful. Up next, our patients will be sharing their experiences. Stay tuned. We hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is uh, Mike Rodriguez. Uh, I'm 50 years old. Uh, I'm born and raised in uh, Raleigh, California, in Imperial Valley, uh, about an hour and a half from East Rosadia. Uh, a little bit about myself, I uh, had RK surgery in uh, 1995. Uh, during that time, uh, my vision was bad. I was 2400 on uh, my vision. RK was the only thing uh, available at that time before a laser came around. Uh, it got me into uh, law enforcement. Uh, a lot of doctors uh, didn't want to do the RK procedure. I had it done with uh, Dr. Bao. Uh, he's located in Carlsbad, just retired and everything. Uh, as the years went by, and you know, the, the law, about 25 years from now, my vision gradually started getting worse and worse. And as being in law enforcement, it was hard for me to qualify with, you know, with the weapons or a qualification yearly. Uh, there was no other uh, uh, LASIK. Uh, I was able to get later down the line, which was the PRK. Uh, that seemed to help for a few years and then gradually started to get worse again. And uh, as the time went by, my vision to vision was fluctuating. I was having trouble driving at night. I, it, was, it was art, you know, daily activities and stuff. And so uh, after that, uh, uh, I eventually uh, seen Dr. Bell and stayed with him, uh, like the person with the vehicle who takes it to the mechanic, you know, I just stay with the same doctor. And I eventually end up uh, going to uh, the revision center in San Diego with Dr. Chu to uh, help me with scleralism. That was the uh, technology with the scleralism, which is a better contact. But over the two years of time of wearing the contacts every day, I de developed GPC, which is a rash that's under the eyelids, which the friction of the contacts, it makes it uncomfortable. So... After that, I was no longer able to wear uh, contacts, and uh, it was hard, you know, with glasses. And with glass, I was able to see 2040, which is barely the legal limit for California to drive. And, and as for me being a law enforcement, you know, and stuff, and, you know, that wasn't uh, very good. I thought I was going to have to uh, retire, you know, sooner um, than my 20-year mark, you know. Uh, Dr. Bell actually, you know, was considering doing a cornea transplants, which was just a big risk. And I was, you know, very uh, nervous about that, skeptical too, because of why I rejects the cornea implant, you know, they'll have to get another donor. And then, you know, from there, I could lose my vision. So I thought it was, you know, well, um, I thought I was just going to stay the way I was. And just try to make the best out of life, you know, with my, my vision. But then he referred me to Dr. Madwani, you know, LASIK, and he told me, there's this new technology we've been waiting for. I kept you for the last 15 years. If, you know, why don't you take a visit and, and go see, you know, Dr. You know, Madwani. So here I am, and uh, uh, skeptical to nervous, you know, get me wrong. And I felt comfortable with the staff and everybody, you know, very professional. Dr. Madwani explained everything, procedures. He, Looked at my eyes and I was expecting the worst, you know. And and as soon as he seen me, he's just like, "Oh, I could, I could fix you, you know." And I was like, "Wow, you know, astonished, like, 
you know, wow, we, you know, somebody could actually fix my vision. So he told me it was a two step procedure. Uh, the first one was re reconstructing my cornea, which was totally warped. And with that, uh, I told him, you know, what I got to lose, you know, it's like, you know, so I went for it and the first, uh, surgery I got with the cornea, the trans, uh, you know, the transformation, everything in uh, reconstruction, uh, uh, I ended up seeing it right away. Uh, as soon as he was done, uh, it was quick. It was uh, pain free. It only took about maybe uh, 15 minutes, you know. And right away, I started seeing it in the street sites and uh, on the way home, you know, back to the valley. And I had contacts on, you know, temporarily for the healing. And uh, But uh, no pain at all. And then my vision, without the second surgery, I was really seeing 20, 30 reading and about. Uh, I was able to drive comfortable and then felt more comfortable, you know, at work, which, you know, for law enforcement, this and that, and felt very positive. And now I'm here today for the, you know, the second part, which is the uh, focal part. And very excited, you know, very excited to get my, uh, my vision back and kind of like my life and doing the, uh, the outdoors, the, you know, enjoying everything, you know, with the family before, you know, with the vision, it was hard. I was nervous to drive at night, landfall. So I'm very excited and I'm, I'm grateful for Dr. Wanwani to staff. My name is Mike Rodriguez again, and uh, I just had the second procedure done of the refractive surgery for the focal point to uh, so the surgery. Uh, the second surgery was uh, a lot quicker, uh, faster, Healing process, uh, within only about a few days, I was already seen, but to the comfortable point was about after about a week and a half, I was comfortable, uh, healing a lot quicker than the first surgery. Uh, they need to, you know, have to wear glasses anymore to read. Uh, I could read the computer screen. Uh, everything changed. Uh, I was able to go back to jogging and running again. Uh, not worried about my glasses falling off. Uh, same thing with my motorcycle. I was able to ride a motorcycle. Uh, like I said, this has been a, a blessing. Uh, the technology is tremendous here. You know, this doctor, uh, Kwanwani, the staff is, you know, excellent. Uh, you know, the vision's getting a lot better. Uh, I just can't wait, you know, till the end, you know, and everything's over. But uh, life right now, particularly, is great, you know, with the able to see a lot fairer when I was before it was horrible now you know there's a uh, this technology and you, know, you have to take advantage of it uh, you know it's, it's the future right listen that